How's everybody doing today? This is Mikey with NindyNexus.net and I took a look into Ninjala today. So once you first open it up, it downloads an update. You go through all the security screens. You definitely read those policies. You don't really read those policies. Then you go into the character select screen. I know we're just jumping into it right now, uh, but I am recording a little bit of voiceover from the gameplay that I had just a little bit ago. So I went with this character with the backwards uh, snapback because that's more so my style. My hair is not quite that long, but I tried the best I could to get it to look closest to how I actually look. Um, obviously, I'm not a kid, <laughs> but uh, that's what I normally do in these types of games. If you are able to customize your character, I tend to go for what I think looks similar to myself. Um, what do you what do you all do? Do you typically go with the green hair and uh, all crazy, you know, clown looking people or monster looking people, or do you try and stick normal to, you know, what what you look like in real life? I think it gives me sort of a sense of connection to the character. If that I don't know if that sounds kind of weird, but sense of connection to the character that I'm playing as if I model it after myself. So. I don't know that's what I like to do and then you get into some loading here uh, there happened to be quite a bit of loading when um, first starting up this game just because this is the test obviously they're trying to test the servers to see how things run to see if it can handle uh, all the traffic that I'm sure it was getting this is the first test that they've done and so um, I didn't have super high expectations for it just knowing Nintendo's track record and their online uh, history, especially with this being, you know, people from all over. Uh, I don't know the server situation or anything like that, but I can tell you that I was able to play about two games before the game just wouldn't let me do anything anymore after that. So uh, I'll let you go ahead and enjoy the footage of those games. You'll, you'll see a little bit of highlights. I'll kind of edit out some of the some of the loading or the downtime and then you can see a little bit of the customization options um, but definitely some good replays from the battles and uh, yeah let us know what you think in the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our content and uh, visit nindynexus.net for all your indie game needs Yeah! <laughs> 
And that's actually gonna do it for today because from here on out, I just kept getting the error screen. Whatever that error is, I'm not sure, but I suppose it has something to do with the amount of traffic and uh, at least I get to play two games out of it. So that was uh, entertaining. I do see some potential in this game. Um, I unlocked some customizable options. Uh, just from those two games, which is pretty cool. I was able to unlock some new weapons and uh, some other goodies there that I could customize my character with. Um, I see it being a, an experience that uh, that people will definitely get into, and for being free to play on the eShop, you know, can't go wrong with that. I think now with all the downtime from you know everything that's going on, I think we're all looking for ways to connect and share uh, some time online together and this is another great way to do so from the comfort of our homes or uh, you know wherever you can get Wi-Fi with your switch and still be within social distancing guidelines so if you have any other comments questions anything leave them down below in the comment section don't forget like subscribe and tune in next time for more great content here on Nitty Nexus